how to find the best Swiss bank for international payments. You know, it's very, very difficult to find Swiss banks who are specialized in doing huge international pay payments because they are afraid from compliance. They are risk averse. Swiss banks usually they want to do wealth management and nothing else. They want to manage your assets and that's it. But if you have an operative business, if you have a commodity trading business or something like that with big volumes, then you can force your bank to execute these payments saying look otherwise my private wealth I will not give it to you because otherwise I will choose another bank who is doing the international payments. Today you will learn that there exist Swiss banks doing international payments. Dario has very a very big experience with Swiss banks doing international payments and this is very rare and that's why we want to disclose all this interesting information. Stay with us! Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I'm a Swiss banking lawyer. I was the CEO of the Swiss Association of Asset Manager and compliance officer of the old uh, UBS banking group. Today, I own my boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful, successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss Bank, to make more money and pay less tax. Stay with us. We fight for your money. Dario, it's a great pleasure to have you here. With, uh, and I'm very happy to discuss today about this very inter Thank interesting you. topic about international payments is very, very difficult to find Swiss banks. It's a nightmare finding a Swiss banks doing that. Dario, fortunately, he has different options. He Absolutely. has he found the channels. He has found very new, very exciting Swiss banks who are ready in executing international payments. Why, Dario, the first question is why Swiss banks, they don't like to do international payments. What, what is the reason for it? They are such risk averse. And in the old days, I remember 30, 40 years ago, this was business as usual doing international payments. Well, the Swiss banks became big and rich with this kind of business. Today, it's finished. Why are they and why? It's a very good question answer. Yeah. And thank you for the invitation, by the way. It's always a great pleasure uh, to be with you and uh, to discuss about uh, hot topics like it's these uh, transactional accounts. It's really a hot topic. And like you said, right, Swiss banks, they focus mainly on uh, wealth management private banking, uh, that's what the major bank uh, are focusing in, or often uh, those entrepreneurs and clients, they also need transactional accounts. It means they want to also onboard in the same bank uh, also their companies, offshore companies or companies domiciled in, uh, in different jurisdictions. And the banks, they don't really like to do uh, payments for those companies or even it's very hard to onboard uh, those companies. Um, yeah. What happened with UBS? Yesterday you told me something about UBS, that UBS and Credit Suisse, they are kicking out uh, clients yes, with offshore yes. companies of course, doing uh, international payment. What, what is course, the background? Uh, today we have these uh, problems with Ukraine and uh, we have the war, Russia, Ukraine. And all the region uh, became uh, very critical. So many banks uh, deciding not to do any more uh, business in, uh, in those countries because uh, every single payment, if it's $10 or, or uh, $100 million, they, they have to do the same due diligence, uh, very profound due diligence. And so many banks, they don't like to do or they even don't have the necessary human uh, resources to monitor all the single payments. Need compliance experts, yes. We need educated yes. people. Compliance means you have to know what is going on in such sensitive industries. And often there are sensitive industries 
here in the you know, companies dealing with Africa or dealing with the other exotic yes. jurisdictions? Africa, commodities, yeah. uh, children work or uh, today of course uh, very problematic is certain goods which maybe you can use them uh, for a computer or uh, to, to bottle uh, like Coca-Cola or maybe you can s use the same goods uh, chips, for, for chips. weapons uh -huh. or, uh, uh -huh. you know, you can misuse those goods. So you need really a compliance and a bank who understands the goods, understands the flows mm -hmm. of the goods and uh, which port and harbors they they passing and um, who, who knows also the suppliers and, uh, and uh, of the goods and uh, so everything is monitored and many of uh, the banks they don't want to do this they don't have the right people in the, in the compliance and it's just too cost uh, intensive and too risky so they decide not to do any more uh, those payments which can be a huge problem if you can't pay any more the fuel for your boat. This can destroy your business. Can destroy your business, can destroy also implication on your private uh, life. Mm -hmm. For example, we know now very well there's uh, many people who have uh, big boats they use in the summer for their families and friends and it started to get hard to do payments for the board, to pay the, the people, to pay uh, the captain and um, to pay the, the fees for the harbor where you put the boat. Yeah. So um, we are really specialized and we try and to why, those And why, how cars. did you find, what is the idea behind uh, for you? What was your motivation in finding these banks? So what is the question the you, you ask yourself? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very uh, key question. And so you're asking me, many banks, they, probably will say, okay, Mr. X, we open you an account, we open also for you um, a business relationship uh, with, with your companies, but now but, it's coming to be, but, but, but you have to bring 20 million, 50 million, for asset 70 manager. million for asset management. And we even prefer to do a discretionary mandate. Mm -hmm. You know, what is a discretionary mandate? The, the bank can decide how the money will be invested. And then we may open you also for your BVI company uh, an account and do a certain amount per month in payments. As a so, favor, as a favor. As a favor. So what we are looking for specific banks which are not asking to do wealth management because they are very much specialized in specialized in doing transactions, doing letter of guarantees, doing bank guarantees, the whole accreditive uh, business. So letter of credits, yes. bank guarantees, Correct. Correct. Uh, trade finance business, they are Correct. specialized. So Dario had the opportunity to find specialized banks and these banks are new banks. So what kind of banks are these banks? Uh, we have, we have maybe five uh, or six banks we work very closely yeah. and they are specialized in transaction or uh, trade finance like you said and every bank has some other specific uh, characteristics so and how they charge client, how they charge for payments so they they take the amount or how is the pricing and well, how they charge uh, obviously they have they, to earn they money earn, because they have they to invest earn. a lot of compliance you, you can do this calculation yeah. which is interesting yeah. is you 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 were asked by a big bank to bring 50 million in, yeah. in assets which they then invest probably they will charge you one 1.2 percent per year so you already have a cost of 500,000 Swiss francs or euros depending on which currency you think with this portfolio. All these uh, fees you will have, uh, you won't have in our solution because it's just a single payment they charge. So they charge per payment. So they charge they per payment. Payments, they charge for 10 payments. Yes. If then it depends on the size. The and how risky uh, the whole business is. So it is. depends, they do have a sort of a risk profile. They check which jurisdictions are involved, 
how risky are the jurisdictions so they check from where the money is going to uh, which place the money what kind of jurisdiction is this what kind of industry is this how sensitive is this industry for example adult entertainment is a sensitive industry so sensitive. for such an industry you have to pay a little bit more but we have the, these type of clients they were key, they have been kicked out of banks and we found solutions because adult entertainment is not an illegal business but it is, isn't is, it is considered a, a sen highly sensitive business and there are only certain banks accepting such types Absolutely. of clients. And the well, same uh, happened with international payment. Another example is yeah. for high risk. Today, of course, everything what is related to Russia, to Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, all those countries which, uh, which are in this region today became uh, became high risk clients so uh, but also depending, depending on the, the currencies, currencies if you pay in chinese currency in the rom i know that it cost more you have open accounts even for uzbekistan for correct, certain correct, clients correct, correct, so correct. you have found yeah. a bank yeah. in uzbekistan it's a very interesting uh, country by the way it's pakistan uh -huh. Uh, they have a lot of goods and uh, commodities very interesting companies and so we are very keen also to work with those countries, maybe some other law officers or uh, people we know they would not uh, deal with them because they don't understand, understand the country. country. But we think we are very interested uh, people and uh, looking for new opportunities. So we are very keen and uh, uh, very happy also to help clients in, in, uh, in more exotic yeah. jurisdictions. Yes. To more exotic jurisdictions for sensitive business or for clients subject to embargo situations or to sanctions or to whatever. Each case is different, has to be analyzed yes. on a case by case Absolutely. basis. There is always a solution. But now we are booking several clients having an operative business, for example, uh, trading with, uh, with the fertilizer from Turkey. They buy fertilizer from Turkey and they have to sell the fertilizer, for example, to Italy. And Correct. then we bring this client to a Swiss bank we know. It's a, quite a young Swiss bank, but you have five of such banks. Correct. We can evaluate Correct. which one is the best yes, because each bank has specific, specific skills and you have to find the client who is compliant to the bank. So you have to find the client's business and the bank and you have to match it. That, that This is the miracle. And we are in a position to do that, which is quite exceptional. I think we have Absolutely. no competitors for the moment. And we already, it's a very new bank. We found already several clients for this new bank yes. and then they are very Correct. happy. So let's assume you have a client for this fertilizer business. How much they charge for their transaction? Let's assume they make per month let's say per month, five uh, transaction of around 10 million. Let's say five, 10, 10, 10, five per 10, yeah. 50 million a month. How we much can, they have to pay charge, for Turkey to... to, yes, to we Italy? can charge for each uh, payment, but we can also uh, 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 do a flat fee for yeah. the client. But normally you have to calculate between, it can be between 75 euros for a payment up to when it's big and complicated payment, you end with 2,500, three, even 3,000 uh, euros oh. per, payment. per payment. But you have a Swiss bank and uh, your counterpart will also very much appreciate that the money is coming from a Swiss bank and you deal with the Swiss bank. Something I would like to mention is a lot of those clients, they switch to Dubai and uh, we don't want to speak anything bad about Dubai, of course. But at the moment, many banks in the US, in Switzerland, in Germany, in Europe, they put the Dubai on the great list. Yeah. So uh, everything what goes to Dubai or, or comes from Dubai is very much monitor, uh, monitored. Uh, monitored. So um, Watch out. this Watch is out. something you have to take into consideration because Dubai moved to the grey list. So, in such kind of a situation, call us, present your situation, describe your situation, describe us your business. We will prepare the documents for the bank. We will do all the preliminary, preliminary work and we will find for you the exact, the right bank for you, the best bank for you, 
uh, to place to open your account for your business. It's a business a bank account and execute uh, your uh, payments, international payments. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the key point, and so I think. Uh, or the, the business proposal we have for you it's you can separate your wealth management completely from the transaction and the companies you have because we also think that often it, it can be um, it can be also dangerous to have everything uh, your personal uh, assets and your company assets in the same bank. Yeah. So that's a cluster also, risk. That's a cluster, that's a cluster risk. risk. Diversification is better. It's always better. You should diversify. Especially today, you see the stock markets they go down and down, and, and banks maybe also struggling internationally, and uh, maybe we will see also this year some failures uh, in banks internationally. So I think diversification, and we believe strongly in it, it's always good. Exactly. And these banks, they are only strong in executing your international payments and uh, executing international transactions. They are expert in trade finance. And this is quite rare in Switzerland, trade finance. You have to find the right people with the trade finance department, people expert in letter of credits, people expert in bank guarantees and all this instrument for doing trade finance and so Absolutely. yeah also forfeiting factoring bill discounting uh, they are things uh, 20 years ago the, the the banks really did it loved it uh, today you will not find so easily banks who understand your needs and what you need in the international business so there are only a few out there and it's really... What uh, kind of banks are these? What kind, are these young banks who just so, came so, out so, or so with a new uh, banking license or are these old banks? Or both, can you, and so both, both, both. both. We have still some uh, very old bank, traditional banks, which have a huge experience. And on the other side, there's some uh, young new players which, which do a fantastic job in the market because they, they're filling into a gap uh, in, uh, who, who in the Swiss banking industry you have this big gap because you have wealth management, uh, the asset management, which is also quite big, and uh, a little bit investment banking you can't compare to the US where, where uh, you have huge investment banking. But there's really a gap in this international business and to to support companies old companies and new companies in uh, in facilitating the international trade okay and payments what, what we course. like of course is a company who has a certain track record so it should not be a startup yes the company should have a certain track record a certain history because we have to document the compliance office and have to document everything in writing. So we need something to document. So the company has to have a certain history, a certain success story, and the volume of the transactions must be interesting also for the banks. Absolutely. Must be Absolutely. important volumes and the turnovers also important. So the banks want to earn money with that. You know, yeah. the banks want to earn money, but they will deliver a very specific service. Absolutely, tailor-made service. Tailor -made service. Uh, maybe to come back to the point you mentioned before, which is very important. Uh, companies we are looking for, the, they should have at least a turnover of 10 to 20 million, at least. Per year. Up, per year, up to, let's say, a billion, even two billion mm -hmm. can be handled. Okay. Yes. Even if you have such kind of amounts, you know, the pricing, we are here to help you. So, if we agree a certain pricing with the bank, it's not carved in, the, in stone. It's not carved in stone. After three months, we can sit together with the bankers. You come to Zurich, you come to us, we go all together to the bank and, and we sit on the table with the bank and we renegotiate the pricing Absolutely. because the bank has already a track record, has already three months have passed, so they can they have a much more precise idea on what you are doing, Absolutely. and then you can you can uh, negotiate a better pricing, or can or you can negotiate uh, for more transactions, or for more sophisticated transactions, or more risky transactions, Absolutely. whatever it is. Absolutely. So uh, you know this is not definitive. Everything, believe me. Everything can be negotiated. Everything. So don't accept 
the price list or whatever they, mm -hmm. they give you, standard pricing, everything can be negotiated. And we, we are here, Dorian and me, we are here to help you, to introduce you, to negotiate for you, to negotiate uh, good prices. Yes, absolutely. It's a big advantage to work with us because you have another entry in, into the bank and uh, we, we speak more or less the same language uh, as, as the banker, as we have been both uh, bankers. bankers yes. And uh, so we know exactly uh, which questions and how we have to, to, to present. It, well, we to have to present, present the file. And, and yeah, yes, and we, we go directly to senior bankers. You know, we go to the people who can decide for you. You will not waste time speaking with junior people, uh, wasting your time for nothing. They say yes, yes, Absolutely. and then they come back three days later and say, no, the boss told me I cannot do that, I cannot do that, and you just uh, wasted a lot of time. So when you come with us, we bring you exactly to the right people, specifically to the right people who are doing the right business for you. And Absolutely. we can open a bank account for you in no time, in no time. So how long uh, does it take to open a, a corporate bank account? How long does it of take? Of course, it's more complicated and more uh, also the documentation and everything okay. than a normal standard wealth, wealth management account. But it can go in a super fast uh, service. It can go from two weeks. Which is very to, fast. Uh, two weeks to a few months. Very, up to a few months, of course, yeah. because there are also very big companies with... Complicated uh, cases, complicated okay. jurisdictions. Yeah. And so it needs uh, another set up and it needs also more time uh, but once the account is open it's like a marriage um, in, in principle it's forever till the company won't exist anymore so it's it's a really very very important uh, process for every company to open the right bank accounts with the right bank because uh, without doing payments and letter of credits and bank guarantees and uh, uh, then it's really hard uh, uh, for a company to, 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 to survive. To survive. To survive yes. you know? And having a Swiss bank on your background will make many things easier for you. You know, even if your structure is not the right one, we will advise you, we will set up a Swiss company for you in no time, you know, we need one day. We buy uh, an existing dormant company for you in one day you have a new Swiss company and we can use a new Swiss company for example for opening accounts. You can open accounts with your domestic company, with your company in Dubai or in your company wherever it is. Wherever it is. Okay, Dario, thank you very much for uh, this you, very Enzo. useful information. Thank you. You know, information just like this you cannot find in the internet. Information just like this cannot be found in the internet, not in libraries and not in bibliotheques. If you like more information just like this, subscribe our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. Thank you very much for your time. Be Thank rich you. and stay rich. I wish you a beautiful day.